What you need to do to install Fabric is open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you open up the Minecraft launcher, load up the latest release 1.19.2. If you didn't load up the latest release, make sure to load the version up before installing Fabric. Otherwise, you won't be able to install Fabric. Once Minecraft is open, just quit the game button and then open up your preferred web browser. It could be Google, it could be Firefox, it really doesn't matter. Then type in Minecraft Fabric. And you want to make sure you put the word Minecraft in there. If you don't, you're just going to get ads for Fabric. Ooh, look at that fabric. It looks very fabricy. So once you're on here, now you want to press the top link, which is the home of fabric, basically. And in here, it's going to say Minecraft Fabric API and also Fabric Loader. You want to middle click with your mouse scroll wheel to open up that link. And the same with this one, because we need to download both of these. Now you want to press the download for Windows button, but if you have, for example, Linux or something else, you want to click the correct download for your operating system. In this case, we're using Windows, so we're downloading the Windows installer. And when we are on the Fabric API website, we want to go to the Files option right here. Then we want to see which version we're looking for. In this case, I am looking for the newest version of Fabric API, which is this one right here. So you want to press this little icon right here, which says download file, and it's going to download the file. Now, once you have downloaded the file, you might get a prompt down here saying, this is a jar file. It might harm your computer. It won't harm your computer, but it's just letting you know that Sometimes jar files might be viruses. In this case, this is an incredibly popular Minecraft mod, you don't have to worry about it. Next, go to your file explorer, then go to the downloads tab, and click on the Minecraft fabric installer, and let it load up. Do not open up the fabric API though, just the fabric installer. And once it opens, it will give you a prompt which says Minecraft version 1.19.2. You also can click any other version in the game you want, down to 1.14, but in this case, we're going with 1.19.2. And you want to make sure you have Create Profile selected, and press Install. And after that, it will say Minecraft Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. And it also tells you about Fabric API, which is the thing we just downloaded besides the Fabric Launcher. So press OK, and back out of the fabric installer. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left of your search bar if you're on Windows 10, click there and put in percentage app data percentage, just like that. And you will get this folder right here. Open up this folder and then you're going to have a lot of different files in here. Don't go deleting stuff in here. Just go to the .minecraft folder, which should be on top, or around the top, unless you have it sorted differently. Now you want to find where it says mods. And the mods folder is nowhere to be seen in here. The reason why is because you need to open up Minecraft with Fabric before you install Fabric API. So open up the Minecraft launcher, then go down to where it says latest release and find where it says Fabric Loader 1.19.2. Once you find that, click on it, then press the play button. Once Minecraft is open, just press the quit game button. And now you should have the mods folder inside of your .minecraft folder, which we do right here. Once you open it, now you go and grab your Fabric API mod right here and drag it over to the .minecraft mods folder. Once you do that, you have Fabric API installed. Now you can put whatever mod you want inside of here to play it. Just make sure that the mod is compatible for your version of the game and make sure it's for Fabric and not Forge. After that, just open up the game and everything should in theory be working properly.